Hi guys, Mr. Hescox back trying to finish up chapter one. Uh, this is the third section of chapter one. Uh, we're going to talk about the levels of cell specialization. We have just finished all of the stuff to do with the cells and cell models and what are the jobs of the core. Uh, the chloroplast was your warm-up question there. Uh, the job of the chloroplast is to make sugar using carbon dioxide and water and sunlight. You'll have some homework, and there will be a vocabulary quiz and tests coming very, very soon. Um, let's get started. Different cells perform various functions. Those various functions could be like your muscles contract or your nerves fire and send impulses to your muscles to contract. And then you have different organs that do different things. Well, many, many simple organisms don't have that. There is a specific domain of eukarya, which is what we are. Eukarya have a nucleus. But the prokaryotes, which are archaea and bacteria, do not. Our cells are more like the archaea bacteria than they are the bacteria. But archaea live in these horrible, most inhospitable environments on Earth. Acids, volcanoes, uh, extremely hot water, all of the places that living things shouldn't live, these archaea live there and thrive. Bacteria are used, used to be where archaea... Oh, excuse me. Bacteria is what used to be called archaea. Then they realized they were two different things. But bacteria are what we typically think of when we get sick. But there are lots and lots and lots of good bacteria that we aren't getting to. Uh, the bacteria in the soil, the bacteria in your intestines. Um, when it comes to being unicellular, we have to talk. When it comes to being unicellular, you have archaea, you have bacteria, you have protists. There are some types of fungi that we refer to as yeasts. Uh, protists and fungus are eukaryotes. They have a nucleus. This is some pictures of some deep ocean trench bacteria. Uh, here's the trench here. They actually feed on the sulfur here. And this is a hot spring in a volcano. So the water would be very, very acidic and very, very hot. That would kill almost anything there. But there are archaea bacteria. You can see this orange color. That's actually these bacteria living there. If you are a multicellular organism, you have many cells. Multi means many. The cells are specialized to do specific jobs. My job is to teach you just science. So we're specialized. So if you go from cells to tissue, tissues are a group of cells that work together. So you have a muscle cell. You put a bunch of muscle cells together, you can have muscle tissue. If you put muscle tissue plus connective tissue, which would be the tendons, you can arrange them into making an organ, which is a muscle, the full muscle. Eventually, if you put all of the muscles together, you can make a muscle system, the musculoskeletal system. If you put all of the organ systems together, you get a complete organism. Cell tissue, organ, organ system, this is the digestive system, and then complete organism. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a pretty simple, simple section. You must know the cell, tissue, organ, organ system, and organism for your test. I wish you well. Be good. Be safe. Until next time, I'm Mr. Hescox. Keep tuning in.